in this lecture we will see simulation process in command mode by using model sim or questa sim i will show for questa sim same process uh, applicable to model sim also i will compile verilog code or i will simulate verilog code here okay so before uh, simulation in your system you must install zvim editor and uh, simulators questa sim or model sim so after installing zvim you will get uh, icons like this this one this one this one and uh, this is questa sim model sim it is not visible here but i installed if it is not visible you can go to search and you can uh, type as tool name so model you will get you can click it will open okay to open the tool either you can uh, double click on the icon or you can uh, type in search and you can click on it okay anyway okay now uh, before starting the process we have to create one folder that is called library okay i am creating my library name as folder as january 26 today date so i will tell what is the purpose of this library this library is a user defined library my library if i don't create my library tool will contain default library with name over okay. let's see the purpose of library suppose if you take your college btech or mtech college in your college library there are books one department two books will be there at one place and in one department one subject related books will be there at one place okay so collection of books that is called a college library here our very low code is a high level language system cannot understand that high level language it can understand mission or binary language so we have to convert this language that is called compile so after converting that to source code to object code very low to mission language that object code or mission language uh, will be saved that is compiled code i will be saved in our system okay i want to save that codes into compiled codes into my library okay so it's good to have one folder for all the designs you did right so now i started very low coding so i want to save all my codes in one folder or in one library that's why i created this again in this uh, i may do so many designs na so i am doing first example so i will create another folder like example 1 okay example related example 1 related all files i will save in this uh, folder if i want to do another design i will create another folder like example 2 okay suppose this uh, main folder january 26 is like a uh, one department books okay again in one department there are one subject related books like this is one subject related okay right you can consider like that okay now uh, we have to type the code we generally don't type the code in uh, uh, tool editor we type in the gvm editor because we want to code very fast that's the reason so to type the code double click or open this one gvim 9.1 okay maximize window and this gvim will work in two modes command mode and insert mode when it is black box blinking this is in command mode or escape mode so to give the commands it should be in command mode or if you want to type and if you want to type the code it should be in uh, insert mode or typing mode to go to insert mode press key i in your keyboard computer keyboard to go to escape mode press escape command mode okay right so first i have to give the file name we have to save the file name with the dot v extension we can give any file name for rtl or test bench or run file but rtl and test bench code extension should be dot v for very log and for run file it should be dot v okay so i have to give command so i will keep in insert mode only, uh, command mode only
so the command to give uh, to create the file name is so whenever it is in command mode whatever you type it will come in this corner left side that text okay colon vspl space rtl file name dot v i will give my rtl file name as div okay you can give any name that vspl is the full form of vertical split i want to split this file into different files because i want to type test bench and run file also that's why or you can give colon spl to if you want to split the screen uh, horizontal okay. so type colon vspl dev dot v okay so there is no space between colon and vspl but after vspl there is a space uh, dev dot v there is no space now press enter so when you press enter uh, you will get to like this see here extension dot actually previously i typed the code that's why code came but in your case uh, the screen will be empty you have to type the code here okay to save the time i already uh, uh, typed this code okay now we have to save it so click on this floppy symbol then i want to type uh, test bench also for that too. but when you typing uh, this code go to insert mode press i then only you can type suppose if you uh, typed the code somewhere you can copy that okay control c for copy and you can paste so just here control v won't work in this uh, jvm you have to click on this to paste the code suppose if you want to copy the code in the jvm this button will become highlight you can click this one if you want to cut this 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 will be. okay right so now i will create a file name for test bench colon vspl tb.v i generally give tb name as tb test bench name okay you can give any name colon vspl tb. enter so i got automatically because i already typed but in your case you won't get you have to type see here it came like a tb. Okay. So if you click here, you will see this uh, name. If you click here, you will see this one. Okay. So after typing this uh, RTL code, you must include it. Okay. What is RTL uh, file name? Uh, Dev. I gave in Dev. So that file name should be there here. Okay. Right. We have to include then the same name, module name, whatever the module name there that you have to keep. File name and module name no need to be same. Or folder name no need to be same. Okay. Right now we have to give we have to create a run file also. For that I will give command colon vspl run dot. I generally give run file name as run. You can give any name, but the extension should be dot. Okay. So this script came. I did one lecture how to do the script. This script will work in Modasim and Questa Sim also. Okay. I will tell the reason why I generally give test bench name as TB. If I give test bench name as TB, I no need to change the script. The same script I, I can use for other design also. That's the benefit. Okay. See here it came like a run dot. Now we have to uh, run this code. For that we have to open the tool. So after typing the code and when we want to simulate uh, opening the tool is called enabling GVIM syntax in a Questa sim or Moda sim simulator. Okay, that will do now. But make sure uh, these codes should be saved in our library, library folder. 
so if you click this these all files will be saved if you click this one only this file will be saved okay always better to save this one or you can save with command also okay so this is happening only save but to, to move our these files to our folder better click on file save as okay now click on this uh, january 26 okay and click on example okay it is like a run dot two. save and uh, this also file save as here it is already example one tb dot save now this one file save as is already example one dev you have, you have to give dot okay this file names and uh, whatever the file name here see here this file name and this file name should be same otherwise code uh, it won't work okay now we'll go and check whether all these three files saved in our library or not go to desktop go to that uh, january 26 and examples one see now here dave this is v file run this is do file cb this is v file okay we have to check this now to enable the syntax or to do further process so either you double click over icon on the desktop or you type in search here and you click on this i am using questa sim now so tool is opening so we have to copy the path close this small window and maximize this window we have to copy the path of our folder so wherever the folder double click on that folder it will open and click here you will get the path Control c to copy the path after highlighting this you Control c close this then go to transcript right so this is the transcript if you don't get transcript the click on view and you will get the transcript so to change the path the command is cd small letters space flower brackets or curly brackets come inside to curly brackets and paste the path to do it control v then press enter okay so once uh, give the command ls to see the list of files whether we are getting three files or not so it is showing like example one so in that example one we will get to all the files okay but uh, we should get the path of that to run not example one we should do get all so better double click this folder and double click this one so wherever run is there that path we have to copy so now click now copy this path control c again you can give cd power bracket paste the path control v enter now give ls enter see now we have to see the files like this tb.v run.do dev.v okay files are there now we can give command do space run dot do this is the command to run okay so this run is a run file name you can give any name okay do then space run dot do then press enter so now what happening compiling happening elaboration happening simulation happening adding wave happening everything happening we just need to uh, check the waveform that's it we no need to do anything simulation completed that's the benefit of command mode so here you have to click no otherwise uh, tool will close okay 
okay now uh, we can check the result in transcript and in waveform also you can click here in the waveform if you want to see the transcript you can drag it so here keep like this you can drag up and down okay if you want to see the waveform clearly you can click on the wave and you can press plus to zoom it okay so this is the simulation process in command mode for very log simulation by using model sim or presta sim here i have not explained any codes or analyzation of output because my intention is to tell how to simulate the process of simulation that's it okay in some other lectures i will give clear explanation about analyzation of output and code explanations okay I am not explaining the GUI or mode or step by step process or manual process. It will take so much time. It's not a best way because in industries we follow command mode only. Okay, you can follow this. The same process applicable to model sim also. But when you simulating in EDA playground, you no need to write any run file. 